surprise death has sparked fresh security fears here in New York. The city is on high alert, fearful of possible revenge or retaliatory attacks. As a precaution, places like Grand Central Terminal behind me here tonight and other sensitive locations in our area, including water taxis and ferries, security there has been noticeably stepped up. Remember, see something, say something. Thank you, and be safe. On the surface, it looks like a typical New York City rush hour. Hustle, bustle, harried commuters. But all it takes is a glance to notice the stepped-up security heightened after the killing of Osama bin Laden. We just noticed that there's a lot more police, a lot more um, army, army personnel around, which is, um, which is a good sign. Taking no chances, part of Midtown was briefly evacuated. Cops checking out a suspicious package today in the subway near 34th Street and 8th Avenue. Sources tell PIX11 News an unattended black suitcase with the picture of Osama bin Laden on it was discovered on a subway platform. Police resolved the situation without incident. What have you noticed security-wise? Oh, well, I've noticed the soldiers around. I've seen police with the, the security dog, you know, the dogs. They're trained to protect people. So, I mean, whether they're here because they feel like there's an actual threat or because they're just here, if something were to happen, they are here, and that's what's important, and they're trained to react. They're here, and it does make me feel safer that they're around. Penn Station, Times Square, Bryant Park, Grand Central, Port Authority, the Financial District, just some of the iconic locations, and transport hubs getting extra security attention tonight, even as officials warn right now there are no specific or credible threats against the city. Law enforcement officials say their biggest concern is not a sophisticated, coordinated attack like 9-11. Rather, they're being extra watchful of a lone wolf attack, the kind like Faisal Shahzad tried to pull off the convicted terrorist who tried to blow up that car bomb in an SUV in Times Square last year. Reporting live tonight from Grand Central Terminal, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News right now. Let's get over to Marvin Scott.